In this example, we're going to start working with lists. Lists let you handle groups of data, and then you can sort them, you can work with them, you can find things in them, you can calculate uh, averages, minimum, max, if they are numbers, and it's a good way to deal with moderately sized sums of pieces of data. So in our sample, we're going to be collecting the number of car sales each week for a five week period in a car dealership. We're going to create a list to hold the number of cars that have been sold. We're going to determine the average number of cars sold, the least cars sold in a week, the most cars sold in a week, and the total number of cars sold. So we've used a lot of these techniques before. We're going to first put in the number of weeks, which is five, and we could change that at any point, which is why we set it to a variable instead of set it using just a number. Zero will hold our index. The index will identify where in the list we are. So if we have a list, let's say our list is something like this. And that's the number of cars sold each week. This spot would be index of zero. This spot would be an index of one. This spot would be an index of two. This spot would be an index of three, and this spot would be an index of four. Python, like most programming languages, starts counting at zeros. And so these are these addresses. It's sort of like if you go to a post office and look at the post office boxes, they're numbered one through whatever, and each one will hold specific data. This is our numbering to find the specific slot where our data is stored, and it starts at zero and ends at four for a five slot item. Then we're going to create our list, which is called new cars, and we're just going to initialize each value with zero times the number of weeks. And again, if we were to change the number of weeks here, we don't have to retype it somewhere else. The new total is going to accumulate the number of new cars sold. We're going to display on the screen new car sales by week. Please enter the number of cars of new cars sold for each week. And so we're using a while statement for while index is less than the number of weeks. We're going to print for week, and then it's index plus one because we're starting with zero. Index is zero. We're going to use index plus one because Python starts counting at zero. We're going to do new cars index equals int input because we're going to sell whole numbers of cars. We're not going to sell a half a car. Each one will be an int. And so we will replace the zeros that we initialized the list width with the actual value, and we'll increment index to index plus one. Here I'm using a count equals zero. We've already incremented index up. We could have re reset index to zero here and reused that. This is another option. And we'll, we're going to go through that list that we've entered the data into. While well, count is less than the number of weeks, we're going to print the dealership sold and the count of new cars and cars. And then we're going to add the new cars count to our new total. That'll give us our total of new cars, and we're going to increment count. When we're done with that, we can calculate the average by dividing the new total by the number of weeks. If we want to get the minimum, we just use min new cars, and the maximum will be max new cars. And we, of course, start the program by calling main. Let's give it a try. So we'll put in our car sales for each week. And let's take a look at the results. So we ask for the number of cars sold for each week, and we enter them. I should be incrementing here. The dealership sold 23 cars in a specific week. Uh, there are 104 cars sold this month for an average of 20.8 cars each week. The least cars sold in a week was 14. The most cars sold in a week was 27. So this I need to add some information to. And you always want to test stuff before you hand it in to make sure it makes sense. In
Okay, so now it'll tell us which week. So we're going to run it again. And we'll put in some information. And so that shows us that 112 sold in a month, an average of 22.4 cars each week. Least cars sold was 12, most cars sold in a week was 32. So that gives you a simple sample of using lists to with looping to gather data from the user and to perform some calculations on it.